Now you might be wondering what I'm doing. What I'm actually doing is looking at my neck. Have you taken a look at your neck recently? I look at my neck daily. I like when my neck matches my face. And take a look at that. All the way from here, all the way down. I could see that my neck is free from wrinkles. Not only that, when I turn my head like this and I look like this, look at that. My face matches my neck and also my decollete. Now, if you're out there and you don't have this kind of a look, your face does not match your neck and you have wrinkles on your neck also, dark neck, guess what? I am gonna share one of my favorite neck recipe with you. And here it is. Here is my neck affirming mask neck affirming brightening hydrating mask and guess what i actually made this for myself i actually whipped this up in my kitchen and you can make it also so what i'm going to do right now i am going to show you how i use it on my neck and then i'm going to share the recipe with you now to use this mask i wash my neck first and i also exfoliate do a little scrubbing on the neck and then it's time to apply the mask really creamy mask and I like to apply it on my neck in upward strokes all the way up on the jawline all the way up it feels good and smells great If you find that you have wrinkled looking neck, this is gonna help you if you use it on a regular. Dark neck, crepey decollete, this one is for you. So what I do, I apply it on my neck and sometimes I go all the way down to be honest. And I like to just cover my chin here with it. And it's good to use on the face too for skin tightening. So once I applied it on my neck, what I do, I sit with it on my neck for about 30 minutes. It's going to dry. So it's always dry within that 30 minutes. And then I just go in the shower and I rinse it off. After I rinse off, I pat dry and apply a moisturizer. Guess what, guys? You can do the same. So what are you waiting for? Let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up. However, before I get in the kitchen, if this is your first time watching and you're not yet subscribed, look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Help us to get to two million subscribers before the end of the year. And guess what? If you want a notification as soon as I post the video so you can watch it first, well, click on the little bell icon at the side and you'll get that notification once you turn on post notification in your phone from YouTube so let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up now my first ingredient is a flour and today we're using white flour flour will help to tighten the skin however we're gonna add some anti wrinkle ingredient to the flour so we're gonna be using about a half a cup of flour so let's put about a half a cup of flour in our bowl half a cup so a half a cup of flour and next we're going to reach for some matcha powder now matcha is rich in anti-wrinkle properties have to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin it also have to boost the collagen production on the skin now if you do not have the matcha powder go ahead and use some green tea since matcha is also green tea so we're going to reach back for our quarter cup of flour and we are going to use about a teaspoon of the matcha powder now note that matcha is very very strong so you really do not need a lot of the matcha powder and now we're going to mix the matcha powder in the flour so we have flour that is going to tighten and firm the neck and we have the matcha powder that is going to reduce the sagging neck and also get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines next we need something to brighten the neck and what I'm going to be using is some orange peel powder. Orange peel powder will have to clear pigmentation from the skin, lighten and brighten the skin. Now we're using a teaspoon of the orange powder. We are adding that to the bowl with the flour. 
And now we're gonna mix all three ingredients together. We are mixing, oh my goodness, this smells amazing, guys. We're mixing flour, which is your regular white flour from your kitchen. We are mixing some matcha powder, which you can also use some green tea. And we are mixing some orange peel. And orange peel is what you just peel your orange and dry and blend to a powder. So now we have all the three powdered ingredients together we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna work on the liquid so my liquid of choice is milk and today we are using regular milk and I'm gonna start by pouring about two tablespoons of the milk and milk contain lactic acid and lactic acid will have to get rid of dead skin cells on the neck it will also have to get rid of rough dull looking neck and have to brighten that neck next I'm gonna reach for some honey and honey will help to hydrate the skin lack that moisture in the skin and take your skin from dull skin to a more vibrant looking skin so we are gonna use a teaspoon of the honey and we're gonna mix this honey in the milk totally dissolving the honey in the milk Honey also contain antibacterial properties which will help to get rid of acne, get rid of pimples and blackheads on the skin. Now once this is done, we are going to reach for some oils and we're using the oils for its hydrating properties. We're going to be using some sweet almond oil and I'm going to use about a a teaspoon of the sweet almond oil pour that in I'm also gonna be using some aloe vera gel if you have fresh aloe vera gel go ahead extract the gel blend it and use it in this mixture so we are gonna be using about a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel so here in our bowl we have some milk we also have some honey we have some aloe vera gel and we have some sweet almond oil. This is also a mixture that you can use to wash your face. Let's reach back for our powder. And what we are gonna do, we are gonna slowly pour this in the mixture. Pour about a half of it to begin with, and then you mix it in. Now we're making a neck mask, so we do not want it to be too watery. Now let's go back and pour a little more and let's work this in. And I think we definitely need all that we made. So let's pour the remainder out and we're gonna slowly work this into a paste. Now if when you get to this stage you need a little bit more liquid you can go ahead and you can add a little bit more of the milk to it. Just a little top more of the milk. Just a little more milk. And mix this in. Mix and mix well. You can also choose to mix this in the blender for a more creamier consistency. And now this is just right. What I like to do, however, I like to set this aside for about an hour or so. Let the ingredient infuse and then I take it out and use it on the neck. And take a look, here it is. Here is your neck mask. Now store this in your refrigerator and use it up within seven days. <laughs> 